good grief it's cold in Kentucky this morning we're supposed to get uh, I don't know I think about 10 to 14 inches we haven't had much snow this year but it is surely peppering down now let's get in here and build a fire all right we're having a bit of a bit of a snowstorm <sighs> bit of a snowstorm and I am Tell you what, I'm the kind of guy when I get stuck inside, I get cabin fever real quick. I'm going to try to get me a little fire built here. We'll see if we can hang out in the garage a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to get done. I've got a couple projects going. I've got that steel 015L chainsaw that I'm... I was hoping to go get the carb kit for it this morning if they had it at the store. I did find on eBay did find on eBay a kit anymore those uh, carbs eh? they're just telling you a whole new carb I don't know what's going on with the kit you can get the used to get the kits for like I don't know what 12 bucks 15 bucks and they'll sell you a carburetor for 30 now I I just soon just soon rebuild the thing no longer than it takes but at any rate I, I'm not going to get the kit today. I don't think they, they sent out an advisory for emergency travel only. It's kind of the way they put it. I know up north, you guys deal with this stuff all the time. In Kentucky, we back when I was a kid, it, we seemed to have a lot of snow. Uh, now it's just kind of, we have moderate winters for the most part. They issued this emergency travel only thing. And there's only like five inches of snow out there. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I'm doubting that the my parts store would even be open. I've also got that Husqvarna LE359, I think it is. It's an edger for the same fellow that owned the Husqvarna all-wheel drive walk behind. It's got some issues. Says it won't run. So we're going to try to work on that a little bit. I think I'm just going to, I don't know if it'd need a carb kit or not. I'm going to take, a, take the carb off, clean it, just inspect it and clean it. I think he said the primer bulb was bad. So I'll definitely need to change the primer bulb. And I said that that was a, a, a Briggs on that, I think, in another video. I think I said that was a Briggs. Uh, it's not. It's a Tecumseh. A little Tecumseh five horse, I think. Anyway, just want to clarify that because it is not a Briggs. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this fire going and I guess just t kind of piddle around the shop and watch it snow, work on that Tecumseh a little bit, see what happens. I'll be glad for spring, I'll tell you that. I'll be glad for spring. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of done with winter. It's been really mild. It's been really, really mild this winter. And now we get this big snow, which is all right. It's all right. I just feel cooped up. I feel a little bit cooped up because my plan was blown. I, I wanted to go and I really, really wanted to get that. I really wanted to get that uh, kit today. That's one thing about posting videos. It's kind of odd when you you post a video. You're working on something, you're posting parts and segments. I've kind of tended lately to, to wait, just kind of hang back until I get the project done because I've done projects and not be able to find the parts for them or the parts are scarce and expensive and the customer just says, I just keep it. So it kind of messes your video up. I've been kind of anymore, wait until I get the series done and then get all of the the different parts to it and then post it all it's what i started doing before i quit working so much on my channel now i'm back into it i'm realizing that the wisdom in what i was doing because when you do a series i kind of want it to be a little more to make sense not just little bits and pieces of me hanging out in the garage i guess you say because there are people that really they look to the video for information and when it's interrupted by a parts problem or something like that. It's a little disappointing to the guy who's wanting to fix his machine. 
watching it for a tutorial or whatever and I really don't want to so much go toward the tutorial thing because I don't know everything there is to know. I don't want to throw myself out there like that, like the guy that knows everything. I try to approach it as I'm throwing videos out to help somebody because there are times that I'm working on something I'm very unfamiliar with and somebody will have something on YouTube, I'll just search it and you just go right to it. You know, it's really handy. Really handy anyway. We'll, uh, we'll let this fire catch up. It's, man, it is cold outside. I don't know if it's, it's like, uh, well, let me I'll tell you what, let's check. Let's check. See how cold it is outside. Pull this phone out here and pull the, pull the weather up. See what, see what, 10 degrees. 10 degrees and snowing right now, so we need to get this garage warmed up. Tell you what, fellas, it is this snow isn't letting up today. I did start our uh, started my wife's car up, started my truck up, let them run for a little bit. It is really cold. It was what well, a little 10 degrees earlier today, and they say we're supposed to be getting about an inch an hour. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Street Rider, your uh, your video with all the sunshine and the beach and everything, I'll tell you what, we sure could stand a little bit of that here. <laughs> Still messing around in the shop. I don't want to double up on my video. I've been kind of spinning place today with that. Uh, between the Husqvarna and the steel, I don't want to duplicate the, the video or anything. I'm trying to... Try to, what I'm trying to do on this on my channel is just manage the content to where I'm not uh, put it this way. I want to put like the Husqvarna Azure footage in a playlist for those who are interested in how that repair is going to go and, and get all the the footage from the the steel in its own uh, playlist. So I don't want to double up the content. I'm kind of just hanging out today with the camera fired up. Try to manage this uh, video a little bit that way. I don't show you today, and then you'll see it in the playlist on another day. That'd be kind of boring. Sometimes hanging out in the garage to me is kind of just like hangout time, you know? Just hangout time. Good, uh, good camaraderie. I'm gonna get a tell you what. I've got some. I've got some new set of those brushes that you get. Some of them have like a nylon bristle and a brass bristle and a steel bristle. I'm going to get a new package of those broken out and clean this carburetor up here a little bit. I'll save that finish for the playlist though. I think it's time for me to take it in the house fellas. I was wrapping up today. I had a thread repair. Somebody had stripped the head out of the stripped the threads out of this head on a, it's a little weed eater leaf blower thing guy gave it to me just to see if I could fix it he thought I might want it I might you know kind of thinking I could fix it and sell it good friend anyway he didn't want it I'm trying to fix that kind of wrapping my day up I put a helical in it they had this nickel uh, trying to hold the carburetor body down using the plastic housing that's not gonna work that's coming out all together Check it out. Still peppering down. It's been snowing all day long. Not sure how much we're going to get in the end, but we shall see. I'm done. Going in the house to get warmed up. Think the old lady's making brown beans and cornbread or something good. Later.